Hey, Mr. Dave. Uh -huh. We got your coffee. Look at how cold that is. Woo! Oh. Oh, boy. Michigan Day. Watch uh -huh. it. Should be warm, but not that. Make sure it's okay. Perfect. Ooh, How'd your day go yesterday? Pretty good. Did uh, you stay right at Kroger or you go somewhere else or what? I went to Kroger and then I went to Speedway. And then Mary came and got up me and we went and did a bunch of stuff. How about, uh, how'd our buddy do there, Big Jim? Did you see him after you left that morning? No. Okay. No, I, I saw him about 11 o'clock in the morning, Jim. Perhaps when I... Yesterday, yeah. This is still, it's about 6.30. We woke up about, oh, 4.30. It's about 6.30 now. You hey, got my sleep past 1 or 2 o'clock at night, I'm doing good. You're but doing my, good insomniac so a lot of nights I don't even get it well you used to during the warmer weather you come back and get a nap are you where are you getting your naps at <clears throat> wherever well uh, maybe Chrissy's house sometimes Chrissy's but, pretty good about that yeah yeah just Brian's down there and they're arguing and fighting yesterday and Left, gotta keep take this squabbling. You guys need to grow up, you know. Squabbles isn't good in life. Yeah. Well, you better get under that blanket here, buddy. That's it's cold. I think it's a cold morning, buddy. You can see your breath. After roofing for 53 years, I'm 53 winters of roofing in the cold. It's this is nothing for you. No, let's see. And my dad would wake us up in the morning and make us all get up and go do roofs 30, 30 degrees below wind chill and stuff. And we didn't get out of work. We had to work and freeze to death. But my dad was a drill sergeant and he just, he'd be yelling, we're not gonna quit. We won't let this beat us. We will win. Be screaming and stuff. Everybody will be looking at him like, you're one maniac. <laughs> and I think, I think his pent up aggressions was taken out on us because he liked to beat us all the time. And I, that's why I never spanked my daughters because I didn't want to have them go through uh, the memories of what I got from when my dad beat me all the time. And uh, I couldn't do that to my child because it scarred my memories of my childhood. And uh, I think if instead of just beating somebody, you need to sit them down and talk to them and have them understand what they did wrong and what they got to do to correct it. But the beatings, that, man, my blood would run cold when my dad took his belt off because I knew he was going to beat the crap out of me. And uh, I, my dad would have went to jail in today's world for what he did to me, but back then, you, you could do anything you wanted. Spare the rod, spoil the child. But I'll never forget all them beatings. It just, I, I couldn't do that to a child. It's just like if you, uh, sexually molested a child. It's going to ruin that child forever. They'll never forget that. You do something like that. Now, you can't hurt children. That's just... 
good for anything in life. Don't ever hurt a child. Yeah. You know? I, don't, don't beat women either. Yeah. Don't lay your hands on nobody. It's a good philosophy. All right. I'll catch you later, David. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all settled?